Hello everyone, I'm Ryan from DL Academy and in today's video we're going to be continuing our Python online bot for gaining Instagram likes and follows. Alright, so make sure you check out our Python course for beginners before uh, following this tutorial. You'll, uh, you'll find it on Udemy, we have links in the video description. So make sure you follow our Learn Python for Beginners uh, tutorial on Udemy before trying to attempt any of this code. So um, let's get back to our uh, program. So let's create a new um, file. Press Control N and let's save it. And then we're going to call it page uh, interaction, right? Page int dot pi so uh, make sure you copy all of the imports into the file let's create the class we'll call it page int uh, define our init function pass in the self object and the driver so that's all we need and uh, right now all we have to do is type in self dot driver equals driver so now we created our class variable self dot driver and we assign it to our driver parameter the script is on an Instagram page um, wait let, let me show you first uh, all right so uh, let's go on Instagram and um, let's go on the search engine and look for coding uh, pages all right all right so um, where's Instagram let's go on Instagram all right and let's uh, take a look oh, I have it right here alright so here we are on Instagram and we can go here click on discover people and uh, the website is gonna show us a bunch of relevant Instagram pages that we can follow all right so let's click on one of them and we're gonna notice that uh, we can view their followers by clicking on followers and view it right here so these are all the followers Instagram allows us to view up to 120 followers I believe we can go here click on inspect elements right click on uh, the li uh, element copy the selector paste it in and this is 73 but the maximum I was able to get was 120 now um, let's make let's make sure we can retrieve all of these Instagram um, usernames right here that's the username all right, so let's make sure we get all of these pages. So we'll create a new folder and save it as get pages. Get pages.py. Let's make sure we import all of the essential libraries and create the class. Call it get pages. Get pages. Let's create our init function. Pass in the self object and our driver. Let's make sure we type in self. All right, so what we want to do now is, um, as we said, uh, we're working on get pages. So basically, we need to find a way uh, to get a bunch of followers, uh, of follow pages. Uh, so basically uh, we need to go on Instagram and um, go on a suggested section so for example here we have a discovery if we click on this button we can click on see all 
and you will notice that the URL on top has changed. So now it's on slash explorer slash people slash suggested. So what we can do now is we could either go and follow all these people. So make a bot that follows all these people. Or we could also use Instagram's hashtag system. So we could say hashtag coding. We can click on this one. And as you can see, the URL change once again. And we have a bunch of uh, coding posts. All right. We can see, for example, uh, this one. There is this page. It has a bunch of followers. And then we could get all of these followers and go follow them or like their posts. So as you can see, um, getting the followers is very uh, important. So let's make a new class to get the followers. So, so um, in get pages, so this is the class we created, we can uh, initialize our driver variable by saying self.driver equals driver. So that's it for our uh, init function. Now we can create a function and call it get followers. Uh, we need the self, all right? So for example, our driver is set on a certain page, okay? Let's say it's on this page. And we want to click on this button. So let's right click and inspect the element to see um, what's, what's the HTML behind it. And we can right click on this, copy the X path and say uh, web driver wait. We're passing our driver variable. We'll wait a maximum of, let's say, 10 seconds until ec.presence of element located open open by xpath, comma, and pass in the xpath. So now we have this, and let's assign this to a variable, which we can call, uh, for example, FLW button, so followers button. And now that we have a followers button, all we can do is FLW button dot click. So this will basically click on the button for us and open this little uh, pop up. And when this pop-up appears, some new HTML is added to the page. So it's not the same. It modified the HTML uh, on the page. So they're probably using something like React, React Native or something like that, Angular maybe, uh, to play with the HTML. But um, all we have to do now is go on this and scroll down on this page. Scroll down as much as we can. Now. We'll scroll as much as we can. Let's do it right now. And it seems it's going forever. All right, so when you click on the followers button, we have a new pop-up that appears, all right? Let's right click on uh, one of these just to see, um, just to take a look at the HTML. So. Whenever you hover your mouse over some elements, the element is um, shown in blue. So we can always see what the code refers to. So if I go here, I can see that this whole this whole pop-up right here is starts with this class. All right. Oops, I just closed it. What did I do? Let's right click again. Okay, so it's this class right here. Right here, this one. Right under it, we have this div and this is what we're looking for. All right, so let's copy uh, the X path. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks like something very simple we can use. So let's, let's uh, do another web driver wait. So let's call it pop up. 
pop up equals web driver wait we'll take our driver um, as an object pass in the time until ec dot presence of element located and then parentheses parentheses again by xpath let's copy the xpath and then whenever we have a pop-up well what we're looking for is we're trying to get let me see let me see uh, we're trying to get we're trying to scroll down the pop-up all right so we're starting here and we're trying to scroll down okay because when we scroll down HTML loads even more and as you can see uh, the div keeps increasing so all these classes they keep increasing these li element they keep increasing as we scroll down now <clears throat> to scroll down we're going to be saying driver dot execute underscore script this allows us to pass in some javascript and the driver will execute the javascript on our browser so whatever we type in inside these um quotation marks will be some javascript so in javascript if you want to scroll down inside a pop-up we're going to be saying uh, argument and this is a list we're going to take the first element scroll dot dot scroll top equals argument zero dot scroll height and arguments here takes in s we're going to be putting in and then this is this is the first argument the second argument is going to be our pop-up to let it know that we want to execute this script within our pop-up uh, pop which is um the uh which is this thing right here so if we want to run this code let's go back to our main so first we sign in then we can say driver dot get which is gonna direct us to a certain web page and then we can say here for example uh, python dot learning there you go this is another uh, popular python um, uh, instagram page and then after we navigate to that page we can simply uh, create our get page object so gp uh, let's let's import it first of course so we're going to be importing uh, get pages and then we're going to be see gp equals uh, get pages dot get pages uh, this requires our driver variable and then we're going to be saying gp dot um, whatever the name of the function is get followers get followers 